Hi boys and girls, it's Bored with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. Have I got a good one for you. It is called The Little Red Shirt by Diane Pasika Kaufman. The Little Red Shirt. The Little Red Shirt. Once in a while, everyone goes to the store and finds something special. This is a story about a special item, a shirt, a little red shirt. Far away in a factory, a long red piece of fabric was cut and sewn into a shirt. Every stitch that went into this shirt was special. One day, the little red shirt was hanging in a store window. A small child looked at the little red shirt and said, I don't think I have that color. Mom, may I buy it, please? Mom, may I buy it, please? The child wore the shirt for the whole day, but at bedtime, it was tossed onto the floor. As the lights grew dim, the little red shirt felt sad, afraid, and very lonely, sitting on the floor all by itself. Finally, he started to cry. I'm lost and lonely here on this great big floor, he sobbed. Will someone please help me? There was a rumble and a shake from a big dresser in the corner with five large drawers. A magic light appeared. To the little red shirt surprise, the first drawer, the very top one, slowly began to open. As it opened, down floated a beautiful orange dress. The dress twirled about and said, don't be afraid, welcome to your new home. But I feel so alone, sobbed the shirt. When will I have a friend? The dress twirled some more and said, you just need to find your proper place. And then the dress floated back up into the first drawer and the room again was dark. Again, there was a rumble and a shake. Now the second drawer opened and out came two funny looking yellow things. Don't be afraid, we are socks and we go on feet. We love to dance to a happy beat. The socks started dancing around the room. When the dance was over, the sock said good night and jumped back into the drawer. The little red shirt was so excited. Now he was not feeling so lonely. So he knocked on the third drawer in the dresser. Again, there was a rumble and a shake and out popped three green shorts. Hi, 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 they sang. The little red shirt loved hearing their song, but he was getting tired and needed to find his proper place to sleep. He began folding his sleeves to tuck himself in with the shorts. No, 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 not with us. Try the next drawer down, sang the shorts. Alone on the floor, the little red shirt again heard a rumble and a shake as the fourth drawer opened. Out jumped four jazzy blue jeans, which began to boogie and dance to the beat. 
Hey, Red, looks like you have the blues, they said. Jazz your way to the last drawer down and see what you find. As the jeans danced their way back into their drawer, the little red shirt thought he would never find his own drawer. The little red shirt began to cry. He knocked on the bottom drawer, the fifth drawer down on the dresser. Oh, please let me in, he cried. There was a rumble and a shake and out came four shirts stitched just like him. They were all in different colors, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Hi, Red, they shouted. You are just what we need to make us complete. Then the little red shirt was happy because he knew he had found his proper home. The end of The Little Red Shirt. Boys and girls, I don't own the rights to this book that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is I'm wearing a red shirt. It may not be a little red shirt, but it's a red shirt. And I wanted to read it here for you today on Fashion Show Fridays, where we have our fashion show with all my kids so that you could see what we do here. This is what we put up and we model right in front of it. I hope you're having a great day, boys and girls. Bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. And I will see you again really, really soon. And don't forget, all you need is someone or something that's just been waiting for you, for you to be complete, just like these shirts. Mm-hmm. That's all you need. Bye. Want to say bye? <laughs> you never know when one of my kids is just going to come popping up. Did you just pop up? He just popped up. He did. This book was read just for him.